Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this uh, Delicious Eats by Cardia Brown. I think it's Cardia. I don't know if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Um, this one is the Country Kitchen Fried Chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. It is fried chicken breast pieces with mashed potatoes, gravy, and corn. It reminds me a lot of the um, KFC, the Kentucky Fried Chicken uh, Bowls, the chicken bowls with mashed potatoes, corn, and gravy, and chicken tenders in them. So that looks a lot like it. Um, this is a... 10.5 ounce or 297 gram meal. I bought it at Walmart. Walmart has a bunch of these chef meals. This one was, uh, they're all been $5.94. So yeah, so if you want this, you can get it at Walmart. It's the only place I know of that's selling them right now. 410 calories for the bowl. And there's your other info if you'd like. So it says crispy and comforting at Sunday dinner. Savory golden fried chicken served on homestyle mashed potatoes topped with brown gravy and sweet corn kernels. Just like, I think, uh, yeah, KFC sounds just like that. So we're going to, only way you can do this in the microwave, or at least that's the only way they list uh, directions for. So we're going to lift, lift the film on the bowl to vent slightly. Uh, place the bowl in the microwave, cook for four minutes. Lift the film and stir, and I'm assuming you recover it. Um, allow, microwave another one minute and then uh, allow it to set for a minute or two. So four minutes, stir it all up, and then give it another minute to, to uh, in the microwave and then let it sit for a minute or two to finish it off. So, let's see what it looks like. Oh, there's lots of gravy in there. It's a lot more gravy than I was expecting to be in there. And quite a few pieces of chicken in there too. So I'm going to vent this. I'll just grab it. Yeah, there's a little tab like sticking out right here. Just grab it right there. Vent it and get in the microwave. We'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. And uh, boy, it thickened up a lot because I was worried. Uh, and it may have actually, actually thickened up too much. But when I first stirred it up after that first, uh, what, four minutes, um, it was really watery. So that one minute in there really thickened things up. And looks like some of the like the breading from the chicken has come off and like come off in little pieces right through here. So that's one of the things I think is going to be different between this and the, the KFC bowl is the KFC bowl. The chicken's fresh. First of all, it's not microwaved and set in this. Um, it's going to be on top. So this is going to be, the chicken's going to be a lot soggier. It's not going to be crispy, but um, you know, it is what it is. It's a frozen dinner. So I'll be right back and we'll try it out. All right. I didn't give it a long to cool off. Just, just a little time because potatoes, tend to cool off pretty quick anyway. So I've got chicken, mashed potatoes, of course, because they're everywhere, and some corn, and whatever that green is, it looks like, like a cilantro, or, or could be, just, it's probably just parsley leaves or something, I don't know, it probably doesn't do much for it. I didn't mean cilantro, I meant parsley. Um, yeah, it doesn't, I mean, I'm sure it's in there somewhere, I just, without reading the whole list in detail. I don't know what it is. Um, texture is about what you would think it would be, just to be honest with you. The good thing is the potatoes, I actually thought they were going to be really, really thick because they come, like I said, when I first started up after the first four minutes, they were really watery. I mean, like runny, runny. Um, now, then I was worried about it being too thick, but after eating them, they're not, they're not bad. They're actually a nice creamy uh, mashed potato. So yeah, they actually turned out really nice. The corn is good. It's not, um, it's not tough or dried out. Sometimes you get these microwave meals where the corn is like, like almost chewy because it's dried out so much in the freezing process somewhere. Um, so they're, they're tough to chew. Uh, these aren't like that. These are very tender uh, pieces of corn. So that's good. And the chicken, like I suspected, uh, the chicken itself is good and tender. It's not tough or dry or anything like that. The problem is the breading has gotten really, really just soggy and pasty almost. So um, that's the only detraction from this really is that chicken breading. It's very... Um, as far as texture goes, it's very um, pasty. I think the flavor is okay. I mean, even if you look at the picture, the picture you can see is kind of a, a breaded, like batter, batter breaded chicken. That's what it looks like. It's almost like a batter. And batter is gonna get 
pasty when you microwave it, no matter, just about no matter what. Um, so I don't, I don't, it's not surprising to me. Like I said, I expected it, but it's, I wish there was some way they could, um, make it to where it's still crispy. I don't know if you said microwave it separate or something to make it crispy because it would have been so much more successful if it had been crispy itself. You don't even get that good. I mean, they mentioned country kitchen fried chicken. You don't even get that fried chicken flavor. Fried chicken should have a really um, crispy, almost a, uh, I hate to say a little scorch on it, but a little, you know, should have some flavoring in the breading, right? And and um, should have some seasonings in the, the flavor of the fried breading. Um, and you just don't get that with this because it's all uh, been turned to a paste um, as far as texture goes. Flavor-wise, like I said, you really don't get the flavor of the chicken at all beyond just chicken. 90% um, 90, 90 of this is mashed potato. Maybe I'll go a little less. It's probably about 85% mashed potato. And then the rest of it is like gravy and then corn and then chicken. That's that's kind of the order you get them in. Yeah, it's a shame they can't come up with a good way to make them crispy because I think it would it would jump this meal like greatly. I do like the mash. I like the flavors overall. Um, the flavor of the potatoes are good. I mean, you get those little. Um, punches of corn and of course the gravy's all through there but you don't really taste the gravy that strong but you get potatoes which are really good you get the corn and then you get occasionally you get these little um, chicken kind of flavors coming through so overall the, it's overall a mushy textured meal with the exception of the of the chicken for the most part and then the flavors are okay but they're not like the best thing ever um I'd almost have rather had this without the chicken, adding that pasty texture. I would have almost rather either not had breaded chicken and had like grilled chicken. That would have been good. Uh, that way you didn't have that pasty breading in there. Or no chicken at all and just had a mashed potato and corn and gravy bowl. That would have been uh, just as good. Because I really don't think the chicken adds much to this except adding a pasty texture. So for me, this one's like a three and a half out of five. It's not bad. I mean, definitely if you try it out, you may really enjoy it, but the texture of the of the breading, it's just mushy, just like most other chicken meals are. So, uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.